So last week, Xbox comes out with the news that their Xbox One will support eight controllers. Now let's run down the facts before we get into this video. The PS4 supports four controllers. The Xbox One supports eight controllers with a maximum distance of an amazing 30 feet. Wow. Games actually have to choose whether to incorporate eight or four controllers. I mean, PS3, for instance, supports higher than that. For instance, you give a game like Borderlands, you're like, oh, you can only play however many co-op. You can't just be like, oh, but the console supports, no, okay. The only games I know of that actually supported 8 or whatever controllers uh, is FIFA. So what I want to talk about here is some comments that I found on news article on Facebook, I believe it was an IGN article where they linked it, and if I looked in the comments of Facebook below, this was some comments that were just pissing me off. And before anyone says, this is just a PS fanboy getting all fucking raged up about Xbox, no, this is about idiotic shit people are saying. It's fine. I'm willing to admit that I am not a PS fanboy, I choose, my console of choice is PlayStation. But at the same time, if PlayStation does something stupid, I'll yell at them. I'll yell at anyone if you do something stupid. It's pretty fucking simple. Let's jump into some of these comments. Win for Xbox. That's strange. Yes, having eight controllers is definitely a win, you fuckhead. Only four. Oh, that's a shame. Xbox supports eight. Once again, it's not actually that big a deal as we said because, you know, games actually have to incorporate it and... If you're choosing your console based on the amount of controllers it supports, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, really? Tell me who would use 8 player split screen, smiley face. And voila, guys, Xbox logic in a nutshell. It's fine. This is more of a swingy kind of vote here, this guy. If they want to add 8 controllers, that's fine. That's not the problem. Xbox logic in a nutshell. Xbox wants to add 8 controllers to the console. Good for them. They want to support... Games like FIFA and stuff that want to have big setups, 8 players, split screen control support, good for them. Don't go switching too far to the left or too far to the right. Let's stay in the middle here. So fucking what? What game are you going to play with them make controllers? You don't even have 8 friends. Boom! PS suck. What a garbage. Well, actually, we're talking about the next generation of consoles here. Nothing to do with the PS3 or the Xbox 360. What everyone's arguing about is the, the fact that the PS4 only supports 4 and the Xbox One supports 8. So, this guy, I'm not sure if he read the article or he's just posting shit because he's a fanboy. Sony, you're slipping now. Oh. Oh, yes, Sony, you must be slipping now that you didn't incorporate 8 controllers. I mean, I was going to put money down on your control, um, console, and I mean, I've never ever used above 2 controllers on my current PS3, I've never, but, you know, for the odd chance that I might have needed 8, no, you're not getting my money anymore. What the fuck? And then the most logical comment I actually found out of, you know, how many hundred as I was scrolling through it all. The most fun I've ever had on a console is eight players on the same team trialing, trying and failing horrendously to go England to the World Cup glory. These days it's not all that often that I'm playing with more than three local other players, but it still happens from time to time. It would have been nice to still have the option. That sums up my feelings on this whole topic that isn't even that big of a topic, but for some reason people like spiral out of control about it. In a nutshell, sure, it would have been nice for Sony to add the option for eight controllers. It would have been nice for people like that guy who have used the option in the past and wouldn't mind using it again in the future if they're choosing to buy the PS4. Is it a deal breaker? No, it's not a fucking deal breaker. This is another one of those things that... I remember when the PS3 was announced, and you had you could play PS2 games. They bring out the next models. You can't play PS2 games. Everyone swung out. Even I, in my glorious naive state, back then was like, Sony, what the fuck are you doing? Why would you not add the feature so I can play my PS2 games? I've got all these PS2 games. What if I want to play them? And sure. I thought that, 
And I can't remember ever actually being like, well, I want to play a PS2 game now. No, because there's new shit to play. But there might have been some people out there that actually w missed that feature. There probably is a small minority of people that really missed the feature and the ability for them to play PS2 games on a PS3 console. Fair enough. Much like the fact that there's probably people out there who wish they could really use eight controllers to have... I don't know, these big FIFA game setup things. If anyone out there who has like a 40 inch TV and who's raging about this, who's never actually done it before, please picture splitting your TV into this amount of fucking quarter sub sections. As fond as your memories may have been of a billion people sitting around playing Goldeneye on N64, try and play it now. It's horrendous. Playing on a screen size about this is big, your little box and trying to understand what you're doing, it's fucking horrible. It is horrible. So, my answer on this subject this week is, it would have been nice for Sony to have eight controllers. Yes, it would have been nice. Is it a win for Xbox in this fanboy war that rages every day of the week? No, it's not. And if you're gonna rage about something as simple as Xbox having four more controllers, I have to question some things about your life. I'm not sure what is wrong with you. The 30 feet thing though, I'm not sure. Who the fuck is going to be standing 30 feet away from their console? How long is... That's fucking ages. That is ages. Good job Xbox, adding... I don't understand. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your comments on the subject in the video, on the subject of the video in the comment section below. Subscribe, like and... I'll see you in my next video.